What's up YouTube, this is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys the new iOS 7 Photos app. So the first thing that you're probably going to notice is the all new icon for the Photos app. Instead of that sunflower here, you have a multicolored flowered icon, which actually in my opinion looks a whole lot better. So if we go ahead and launch the Photos app, you'll see here that it looks a whole lot different. It's divided into three tabs here at the bottom, you have Photos, Shared, and Albums. So if we go back to the Photos tab here, the Photos app actually automatically organizes photos into moments, collections, and years, so you don't have an endless stream of photos in your camera roll. So right now we're in the moments view, so everything's broken down day by day. Now if I tap on the collections, collections is actually a grouping of moments. So the photos are organized into collections according to date and location. So the photos and collections are either labeled by the date, or date range or by the location with the date range to the right as you can see here. Now the years is pretty uh, pretty self-explanatory here. You can see that all of your photos that are taken from whatever specific year are categorized within that year. Now one of the cool things about this is you can actually tap your finger over the photos here and you can drag your finger and it's going to give you a preview of the photo and if you want to open up that photo then all you have to do is let go and it's going to maximize that photo in your moments view. So if we wanted to edit a photo here, let's just tap on edit. In addition to the option to rotate, auto enhance, red eye removal, and crop, you also get an option to apply filters right here in the middle. So if I tap on that, you can see you can choose your filter right here and it's gonna automatically change that up. And you can just tap apply if you want to apply that filter. So let's go ahead and cancel this and cancel that. And now if we wanted to actually share a picture, you would tap on the share button in the bottom left hand corner. And now this is broken into four distinct sections. The top section up here, you can actually select photos just by tapping on them, just like that. And then you can share those. Now below that, you get an option to share the photo with people nearby using the new AirDrop for iOS feature. Next section here, this is what you're used to. You can send it through mail, message, iCloud, Facebook, or Flickr. And down here at the bottom, you can copy the photo, you can put it in a slideshow, use it on AirPlay, or print it. So you can share a photo or share all the photos from your favorite moments. And you can also share photos as well as videos via the shared photo stream feature. So people you share with will also be able to post photos in your share tab and post videos and comment on your stream. Now the new activity view that you can see right here lets you see the latest updates from all your shared photo streams in one place. So let me know what you guys think about the new iOS 7 Photos app. Do you think this is a huge improvement from the previous iOS 6 Photos app? Let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, until next time, this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.